This is another video for my retro gaming channel. Uh, this is the May Flash Arcade Stick F300 Elite. We're gonna uh, check this out. We're gonna look at the box, open up the box, uh, a quick unboxing. We're gonna compare the joystick and the buttons to a few of my real arcade machines out in the arcade. We're gonna open this up, look inside. Then we're gonna play some Miss Pac-Man. We're gonna play some Donkey Kong. So you don't wanna miss out. So here's the video. All right, this just came in the mail today. The May Flash Arcade Stick F300 Elite. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see if it's any good for a retro gaming. Let's do. Uh, let's zoom into the back of the box a little bit. Here's the button layout. And then over here on the side, it's just talking about Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC. Let's open this box. Oh, that looks nice. Suppose they have the upgraded uh, buttons and joystick. It's kind of big. It's kind of heavy. This is the PC edition with the USB plug, so. Oh, here's our instructions. Doesn't have much on here. What we're gonna do is plug it in and see how it goes with, uh, we'll see how it plays with an eight-way game and then a four-way game like Donkey Kong or Pac-Man. I'm interested to see how that works. I like to say I know a little something about arcade joysticks. Why? Well, let me show you because I own an arcade. Let's compare this to some of the arcade machines I have. Do you know what Robotron is a good one? Because Robotron has two, two joysticks. Smooth. Let's see this one here. Clicky. Let's see the buttons. A little bit different. All right. These are a little uh, taller, easier to push. Let's find um, some uh, over here. All right. This game here has two joysticks too. Let's see. Exactly the same as the Robotron. Let's go find a different one. Here's my Neo Geo over here. Pass the jukebox. Let's see. These joysticks are really, the arcade one's really tight. This one's a little bit loose. Um, look at it over here, Pac-Man. Nice and Pac-Man. There's a four-way joystick. I feel like this is kind of a four-way joystick. I know we can open this up and um, look inside. Let's check the buttons out. A little bit different. Uh, let's check out something else though, on the other side. On this side is my Donkey Kong. Let's see here. Donkey Kong. These are definitely different than arcade buttons. They're also sunken into their they got a dip in them. All right, let's see the joystick. Hey, right, this is actually kind of similar to Donkey Kong joystick. All right, let's continue this video inside. All right, so we have the controller ready. I want to show you the inside because I've converted this to a, a four-way joystick for Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. It's real easy. I could make a video to show you how, but you pop this off and you spin this inside like a quarter turn right there. This is controlling I'm really good with this joystick. Them. Yeah, I really like this joystick on the um
when you, when you convert this to the four way, it's really nice. We're gonna try some Donkey Kong here in a minute. Alright, let's go fire some Donkey Kong. Alright, Donkey Kong uses this button right up there. Let me reach around my tripod. Hey, right, maybe that's a little better look right there. Let's try that out. I got my arm reaching through the tripod, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, that's the jump button, I mean. Alright, so now we gotta wait. Oh, that fireball's coming up fast. Oh, we're gonna get trapped here. Alright, let's... Try to make that barrel go down. That ladder there. Nice. All right. Uh, these controls are really nice. I just want to keep playing here. Well, I really like this controller here. Let's flip this camera around. Uh, for the simple retro games I'm playing, I don't know if I'll need any of these buttons up in here. Uh, this I did use this button to start a game. Six, two six, pretty nice. And here's the inside. For anyone that wanted to see the, all the inside, I'm gonna put the bottom back on. I'm gonna leave this as a four-way controller. I'll put a link in the description below to. Uh, I'll put a, a link in the description to this exact controller. I got. I gotta put the bottom back on now. This bottom, I think, actually, this plate, I think, weighs more than. That whole unit does itself right there. But we're going to reattach this and then we're going to go play some Donkey Kong. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Post in, the, post in the comments below if you have any questions about this controller. Um, I'm really liking it.